past eight years, on the day of my birth, I make it a point to stand in front of my mirror bare chested at 7.30 a.m., which was the time I was born. I spend however many minutes are equivalent to the years I've been on this earth, so this year, I'll be 29. For 29 minutes, I reflect on who I am, who I was, and who I will want to become. I'll also spend 29 minutes hugging myself in case I spend too much time the coming year loving others who sometimes love me back. Mm -hmm. In case I forget who I am, who I was, or who I will want to become, I will revel in the naked of my human in case no one else could. See, I have loved to the point of destruction. I have read the language of Daredevil when I jump off these cliffs hoping these hollow bones are solid enough to forgive my reckless and allow me a moment to take in this stubborn wish for flight. They said, my stubbornness is lost art. But I am overflowing with all the cosmic my beautiful has allowed me to grow into. And I don't know, I don't know if it's possible to live to the point of death, but if there is such a thing, Remember me as a blunt knife that could never cut deep but could still scrape away the unnecessary. Remember me as an aging body of music when you replay my faults as instruments instrumental to my lessons because the older the bone, the more beautiful the sound when it's carved into a flute. When you tell my story, do not hide my flaws. I've been told the worst thing about being lied to is being made to feel like you weren't good enough to be true. And when you speak of my troubles, tell of the days when I found gentle flight in stormy weather because just like the trees, I arched my back with the wind to avoid being broken too much. And I still remain a fleeting moment of triumph whenever trouble blew past me because you cannot appreciate a feather until you have witnessed it curse the hurricane when it dances in the air. So before I die, before I die, I will teach wind how to swivel like it ain't got no tunnel to cower in. I will always remember that a gust of breath is actually turbulent wind inside our bodies that we calmed right before we exhaled. I got so, but I'm not a soldier. I got so, but I'm not a soldier. And I will forgive my reckless. And allow myself a moment of stubborn to find my float. In the dust I push off against the cliff when I have decided to cusp the air again and I will fly. I will fly because I know of no other way to love this destruction. I will fly because I know of no other way of how to curse the hurt.